Welcome back, my wasted youth. This is Rev taking you through Pokemon Special Pikachu Edition. When last we left our intrepid hero, we had defeated the last five of those ten trainer battles on Route 11 to make it all the way to the entrance to the Rock Tunnel. Now, before I go in, I want to go into my Pokemon, go down to Sand Shrew, and use Cut on this little bush. Then we want to face the rock wall itself and find a Super Potion. It is not something we necessarily need, but it's always good to have. So now into the rock tunnel. And as you can see, we definitely need Flash, so it might be a good idea to put away your um, cut TM and bring out Flash. With that, let's go back into our Pokemon and use, whoops, use Magnemite and Flash and a blinding light lights up the entire area, which is perfect. I've switched my Pokemon around a little bit so that Pikachu is in the front of the party. But before we get into that, let's take on this Pokemaniac. He has got a level 23 Cubone and a level 23 Slowpoke. Now, in this case, the first thing that I want to do is change Pikachu for Wartortle. Now, I realize that in doing that, I'm actually giving up the first attack. And I don't really like that, but I think for the random battles, to have Pikachu in the front of the party works a whole lot better. And our Water Gun does a whole lot more damage than his Bone Club, especially since Bone Club ends up missing up quite often. And there we go, with two shots, Cubone is down. Now, what we are going to do is we are going to switch out uh, War Torkel for Ivysaur. I found that Ivysaur's Vine Whip does pretty well against Slowpoke, so assuming that we don't get uh, confused, then I think we'll be okay. His confusion is actually going to do a lot of damage to us, but it can also um, it can also mess us up and that we end up attacking ourselves. And if we don't have that happen, we stand a very good chance of actually winning. Oh, see, that's perfect. Okay, so we defeat the Pokemaniac. Yeah, that's probably a good bet. I'm surprised you didn't get one earlier. But it's actually the Zubats that is causing me to put Pikachu in the front of the party. See, in this entire uh, rock tunnel, we have got five trainers with um, Slowpoke. So what that means is we've only got five trainers that have got Slowpokes that know confusion. Well, oh, and here's another Pokemaniac. You draw Pokemon when you're home. Hey, you know what? I do too. Okay, so this Pokemaniac has got one for us, and it is a level 25 Slowpoke. So we are going to switch out to Ivasaur. And we're just going to hope on this. And of course it's going to use Confusion. Does it mess us? Wow, that's pretty bad. Now, it didn't confuse us, which is... Great, hopefully we can actually do some... Oh, I hope here. Oh, this is potentially bad. Let's find out how bad is it. Oh, beautiful. Okay, perfect. And Ivysaur has now grown to level 26, which is great. I was really actually worried there for a minute. You're exhausted? Hey, you know, I understand that. You're an artist, not a fighter? Well, then you shouldn't be attacking 10-year-old kids. Well, now we have just defeated two of the five trainers that have got Slowpoke. So we don't really have to worry about it too much. Um, we have three left, and all three of them are going to be pretty easy to deal with. Now, I'm, I'm walking back and forth in this area, because this, on this particular level, is where the Machops like to hang out. Um, I'm not going to do it for very much longer. I figure two more uh, random battles. And I've just got Pikachu in the beginning of the party to make sure that that supersonic from any random Zubats is not going to really do a lot of damage to us. So, after one more random battle, but that wasn't a Machop either, so let's take out this Junior Trainer female. You don't come here often, but you... well, you know, you gotta hang out in places where there's more light. Okay, she has got a level 22... Oddish, and a level 
22 Bulbasaur. I forgot what I was doing there for a minute. So now we are going to switch in immediately to Charmeleon, because fire and plant life do not mix. So now Absorb is going to do more damage to Charmeleon. Well, you know what? I guess it isn't. I actually thought it would do a lot more than that, but fire kills everything, so that's perfectly fine. So Oddish is down. And Charmeleon is going to see if he can take out this Bulbasaur, and I'm assuming he can. Oh, see, that's great. There is nothing Bulbasaur can do now to save itself. <clears throat> and Charmeleon has now grown to level 27, which is absolutely perfect. We've defeated the junior trainer female. Yes, you did. Hi. You like tiny Pokemon because big ones are too scary? Well, like I said, you know, if you hang out in places with better light, that may not be an issue. And with the defeat of that last trainer, we are headed for this next Pokemaniac. This Pokemaniac has got a... L oh, cosplayers? Oh, no. No, don't do it. Don't oh, poof, good. Okay, so he has got a level 22 Charmander and a level 22 Cubone. So, I'm kind of thinking that our best bet is to probably just bring in War Portal and see if Water Gun can take out a Charmander, and... Oh, well... Rage is not all not fun, but... I don't think it's going to do all that much. I don't think it's going to have the time to do it. So he'll get a second attack with it, and we will use Water Gun and completely wipe him out. And so be it. So Charmander is fainted, and he is going to bring out Cubone. We are going to just sit back on Water Gun, see if that works at all. Oh, look at that. Isn't that great? Hey, Bone Club actually hit. Fortunately, it didn't do all that much damage to us. And so with that, Cubone is down. And War Fortal has grown to level 24. And trying to learn Bite. Oh, well, you know I'm going to take that. Of course I will. I don't need Tail Whip. So, now we have learned Bite with War Turtle. <clears throat> Isn't that great? Yes, they do, and that's a little weird too, but you know what? By all means, let him go at it. So, now that is the fourth of 15 trainers. Yeah, 15 trainers that are in this area. And we are just going to continue hugging the walls, because, well, that's where Machop likes to hang out. So, hopefully, we'll actually be able to do some stuff here. So, let's see if... Uh, oh, boy. I, I want to take it out, but I don't... Oh, perfect. Okay. As long as this next Thundershock is not a critical, we'll be okay, and we'll be able to catch a Machop. Oh, beautiful. Good, good, good. I can't say I like that, but okay. So we are going to throw a Pokeball and see if we can catch our very own Machop. Nice. Look at that. Took far too long, but I guess it ended up working, didn't it? Yes, it did. No, I don't want to give a nickname to Machop. So... We are now going to continue hugging the wall. And the reason we're still going to go for walls is because, um we still have an onyx to catch. Now this particular hiker, your techniques will leave me... Okay, well, I bet they won't. If you're a hiker, we know that War Turtle will take out anything you've got. Well, he's got one. And what he's got is a level 25 Geodude. So Pikachu comes in and we immediately switch out for War Turtle. Yeah. And Rock Throw is going to miss, thank Thankfully, that's very good. So, do we ha Oh, look at that. And we defeat Hiker with one shot. Well, yeah, I just... I got lucky. Well, no, I didn't get lucky. Yes, we will, and that's very good. Okay, now this particular trainer is going to have to wait till we have one more random battle before we take him out. Hit you with, your, with my best shot. Well, fire away. 
Okay, so now this particular hiker has got two for us, a level 20 Machop and a level 20 Onyx. Hey, after this whole thing is said and done, can I just take your Pokemon? Because, you know, we're still looking for that Onyx. Low kick, how much damage is it going to do? Oh, that's not good. Okay, well, I'm going to try Water Gun. I may actually have to switch into Ivasaur, and it looks like that's what I'm going to do. War Turtle is out. You know what? That's that's fine. I can't say I really dig it, but I was half expecting it. So, Ivasaur is going to come in with Vine Whip. And take out Machop. That's okay. I can't say I'm pleased, but so be it. So, now how much damage is Vine Whip going to do on an Onyx? Whoa. That is kind of surprising to me, but... That's okay, we've defeated Hiker. Yeah, fire away, of course. You've heard the song, I know. Yes, well, that's good, but we're never going to see you again. Ever. And with one more trip to the Pokemon Center, we say farewell to a Pat Benatar fan. Now, this Hiker is potentially going to be tough. He has quite a few for us this time. All of them are level 19, and he has three Geodudes and a Machop. So, Pikachu comes in, we are going to switch out for Wartortle. And, like normal, we're just going to sit back on Water Gun and see if this Geodude can actually do anything to us. And, truthfully, I don't think it can. But, that Machop, I'm not really looking forward to. So I am, when the Machop comes in, I'm just going to switch into Ivasaur. And there's the Machop, so here is Ivasaur. And Ivasaur is going to come in and use Vine Whip. See, I'm not too worried about that. Vine Whip may not be able to take it out in one shot, and it didn't, but it's pretty safe assumption that it'll take it out in two. And then we'll just switch back into Wartortle. So, there we go. Now, one more Geodude comes out, and we are going to switch right back into Wartortle. Rock Throw missed, fortunately. Oh, whoops. Rock Throw missed, fortunately. Defense Curl is not going to make a difference to us at all. And one Water Gun is going to take this thing out. So, let's see if we can do the same thing for the fourth and final Geodude. And I'm betting, yes, of course we can. So with that, one more Geodude is down. War Portal gains more experience and now is level 25. Perfect. We have defeated Hiker. Yes, I win. Watch out for Onyx. I can put the squeeze on it. Well, you know, I'm trying to catch an Onyx. So, like I've always, well, like I've done till this point, we're going to continue hugging walls. Until we reach this one. Yeah, you might be lost in here. Could be, it's kind of tough. Okay, this particular hiker has got three for us. First one, of course, as you can see, is a level 20 Onyx. And, <clears throat> excuse me, we are just going to switch into War Turtle. And see if Water Gun can actually do... Well, of course it can. We know it can, so let's just do it. Water Gun makes very short work of Onyx. And the next one he sends in should be another level 20 Onyx. With one more Water Gun. <clears throat> and it is super effective. One more shot, and it is down. The third one is a Geodude. And... We're going to use Water Gun again. Yeah, that's right. We're not messing around this time. So, we defeat the Hiker, who is... I don't know what you're doing. I have no idea which way is out. I'm lost just like you. Oh, really? Yeah. We've, we've seen it. It's big. You're probably not going to like it. But that's all we got time for this episode. So your required reading and viewing for next time is Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, Holes, and Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Thank you for watching. This has been Rev taking you through Pokemon Special Pikachu Edition.
Till next time.